welcome to another episode. <laughs> it is nine? now quarter, yeah, quarter past nine. Uh, we have just arrived at the air down point at Horrex. Horrex. We're, We're back. back to where it all We're began. We're back. Yeah, back to where it all began. Now, the plan for this weekend, we got the tinny in tow. We're setting up a base camp. We've got a few things we want to try out. We yep. don't want to big note ourselves yet until we know we've caught something. Yeah, we're not <laughs> going to tell you what we're doing at all, actually. We'll probably just wait until we catch something. Yeah, exactly. But we've just let our tyres down. We're going to head into our camp. Fingers crossed that we've got one. All taken Friday off, so we're here yeah, extra it's a Thursday early. Night. It is a long weekend, yep. so we've got four days down here. You've got a fair bit of time. Yeah, good fun. So no excuses of not catching anything. Hopefully yeah. our spots there that we had last time. Um, yeah, and that's exactly the one we want because I want to show you guys that one a little bit better. Yeah. We've got a lot of exploring this weekend, a lot of water activities and a lot of cooking and a lot of fun. Yeah. But you probably won't see us until tomorrow morning. Let's yeah. hit camp, set up base camp, a couple of beers. Get our swag out and uh, get up early in the morning and get the chin in the water. Sounds good. Guys, we will see you in the morning. Let's get into a beer time. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. I'll, I'll do it, we can do it by hand. No, man, I could have, it wouldn't have been hard. I could have been done. No, okay. Now I only get to what you were trying to tell me. <laughs> Alright, we're on. Guys, good morning. Uh, like we said, we wouldn't see much of you last night, so it's nice and early this morning, and we thought we'd throw the tinny in the water um, and just have a bit of a look around up and down this coastline. The good thing is, Creeper, is we're not gonna have to bloody use too much fuel this weekend. Well, it depends. This is meant to be the bad day of weather. This is meant to be the, uh, the higher wind, but in this little bay, it's really nice and protected, so we thought we'd just throw the tinny in, have a look up and down, 
um, and just see what we're sort of we're looking at. So we'll see what we get up to. Tempting to throw the gear on, isn't it? And see what the visibility's like. But either way, we'll let you know how we go. We've got a nice cook-up gun. It's really early still, so we'll get a nice, um, nice brekkie gun when we get back because I'm starving. Anyway, time to start this bloody weekend officially. See you soon, guys. See that pot over there. Honestly, a pot to do getting deep and then right just here where these other boys are it sort of gets real shallow like 500 yeah. and that but I know just in front of our camp as well you can see a bit of reef there sticking out of the water but there's an also another section further over there that we should and I okay, have a look see if, it, if it's deeper if it's shallower if there's cranes Where'd you go? Alright. Where'd you go? Yeah, you missed it. Five out. Probably out of the hill. Well, guys. <laughs> well, guys, we're back. Uh, looking pretty positive, eh, Creeper? Yeah, bruh. Yeah, we're going to catch a whole lot of nothing like every other episode. <laughs> yeah, don't expect it. Don't expect too much but it's beautiful out there the visibility looks very good but there's one thing I didn't mention actually up until this point you probably thought it was just us <laughs> just Creeper and myself but we've got a couple other champion lads with us Dave from Earth Track and Nick Frost Nick the Frosty Frosty man Jack Frost my daughter will be yelling at the TV now <laughs> Jack Frost <laughs> How we going, mate? Crying? Very good, mate. Very yeah. good. Have yourself. Oh, very good. Dave's got the um, the two hundred here, and you've been you've been itching, haven't you, mate? Oh, get her out. Mm. Gonna get it out the, out the sand up in the up yep. the dunes. Beautiful. Not on its lid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I can still try and get it on the lid. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> we'll try it. Um, so, what's for breakfast, boys? I am having pancakes. Yep. Maple syrup and banana. How can you go wrong with that oh, on mate. the beach? I look forward to seeing that. How about you, Nick? Uh, bacon eggs bacon and, and maybe eggs. onions on brioche. How are those burgers looking, mate? Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why Nick is here. He, that's oh, Nick. No. I need to tell you, mate. I don't know. You're not welcome if my, you have that my stuff. My wife packed these, so <laughs> my wife. Uh, yeah. Have, have a word to her. <laughs> where, where's, where's Scotty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scotty'd be clapping at the TV <laughs> now. Oh, but guys, the um. Who's gas so leaking? why? You smell it. Yeah. Might be that one. Um, yeah, bit of a, a nice cook up. We had a, a couple of drinks last night. We got a beautiful cook up uh, this morning, bacon and eggs and that. And then the plan for today is because the wind is going to be up a little bit, is to do a heap of exploring up and down this coastline. So I can't wait to take you guys with us. And then tomorrow the wind is dying down. So I'm looking forward to that, getting the old mask and um, snorkel on. So let's see how we go. Face mask. Yeah, I just want to get in to this bloody brekkie. But wherever we end up, we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Come on. Look at that, Pete. Beautiful. Oh, oh that's yeah. a dad flip right there. It's <laughs> a dad flip. That's a dad flip. Were well, you just having one or? Oh, I've already had one. Oh, okay. I just had to do a tester and then I had to make some coffee and then. Yep. Now we go to the pancake. Tester for himself, not offering it around to the other lads, but that's okay. Hey, as long as you're okay, Dave, eh? Here I am trying to set you blokes up a shelter, you know, for the day. I haven't even been able to get me cooker out yet. <laughs> We've got a bit of a base camp set up, so another chance to use the old Zempire jet set. Uh, I had a wicked sleep last night. Um, still using the inflatable mattress. I am trying to get hold of Zempire. I want to get one of those monster mats. I want to buy one of them. So and I want a tent. And, I want, and he wants a tent as well. He loves the old jet set as well. I set this up by myself last night, and I think there's a bit of a trick to it, and I'm looking forward to... No, I'm not going to set it up again this trip. No, it's a base camp, so 
nice and comfy. We've got a nice big base camp set up. And then we, the tin is still out uh, on the shore. Uh, it's about three k's away now, floating away. <laughs> nah, so the tin is through there. Uh, we've got a really nice little hub set up here, and then we can just, you know, leave the cars. Um, just cruise, we'll go for a cruise and leave yeah. the cars here, and there's actually a little bit of reef like not even yeah. 15 metres can, offshore. Realistically, you can actually just snorkel straight to the reef out there so we'll if you're really up for it. If you're that keen. Yeah. But I'm not that keen. Yeah. That's why we brought the boat. <laughs> On the board. Guys, unbelievable. Um, <laughs> no, obviously we haven't been for a dive yet. We didn't catch these, but a couple of guys locals. were out there checking their um, pots. pots and the locals. Uh, their locals, obviously, and they gave us, you know, kind enough to give us two crays already. Got chatting with them, so they reckon really they'd nice blokes. See a few out there, and nighttime they reckon's the best, eh? Yeah, yeah. Go nighttime. out there, with torches and that. And he goes yeah. about knee deep water. Go out there, he goes just come with us and. We'll check, yeah, we'll, we'll check all the pots and that check and them come and along, have a laugh. Yeah. But we owe them a couple of beers later when they're yeah, coming back. Uh, really nice blokes, but how good's that, you know? On I'll the put board. them in the freezer, let them go to sleep, and then I think we'll try and cook something with them later, maybe. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> cray cray. That's cray cray. Well, guys, we just had, um, just finished breakfast, and the funny thing is, we had a quick swim out of nowhere just to, um, just before we sort of set off on full driving. And then all of a sudden, you know, like there's a bit of reef there, and then we went for a dive. There are crays everywhere out there, um, literally 10 metres off ashore. So I'm really looking forward to when the wind dies down, going to hit that outer reef tomorrow morning. So bloody excited, and I'm feeling half confident. But time to head off now and check out the coastline and just enjoy the day. Come along. I think I, I got that cast. I got that cast on camera. Look, he's pissed. He is pissed. Way to throw away about 30 bucks there, mate. How much was that pop up? Yeah, about 30, 40 bucks. Big, 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 big money. Big, big. <laughs> he's not happy. So we've lit literally about 500 meters from camp. This was the idea of today. Stop wherever we can, have a bit of a fish, just relax, explore the area. You bugger. <laughs> Oh, you think you're not the first one to do that, mate? No, that was the idea, so creep has got his flick rod out. Of course, if he catches something, that's when we all start rigging up, so why waste time? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Couldn't have picked a better day. Can't wait for that wind to drop down. Come on, Dave-o! Come on, mate! Creeper got up there as well! <laughs> Harder than I thought, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you get halfway up and you're like, yeah, I got this, and it's just like just around this top bit. It dies there, and Far there's out, articulation mate. too. Yeah, that's it. I don't know where Kruger is, but we got there. It's actually a really challenging little hill. I know it. I know it doesn't look like much, but sort of, it's really boggy at the bottom. So you've got to have that momentum at the bottom, oh, and then all of a sudden, you're losing traction at the top because of 
you know, there's these small little articulation spots. So, good fun though. What's he back? What's he backing into the ocean? He's gonna back up to Antarctica. Oh, he's still going. Still going. Nick, we got the tinny back at camp, mate. Here it is. That's momentum. There you go. Just goes to show you, momentum is key, isn't it? Number one, momentum. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. What a difference. Welcome to yeah. MTV Cribs. Come on in. <laughs> oh, I like what you've done with the place here, Mike. Thank you, got myself a new queen's on bed. G G G G G I I Yeah, perfect pitch. Okay, gather around, guys. Oh, well, that's close enough. Oh, 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 oh way off. <laughs> yes, you... Oh, I broke the string too. Oh, that's what you get for rocking too hard, Jimmy. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> home. Them big potholes I put there. Killed him. <laughs> Someone put some big holes there for you. <laughs> oh, you can feel every bit of it too in this thing. I'll try one more. I think I've flattened it out a bit. There, you can do right now. One, just trying to get up this cracker. Big fella made it. Very lucky. Top Gun made it. He's the old uh, high and mighty up there, living the dream. I've gotten close, so I'm just sitting here for filming at the moment. It's it's pretty soft. It's very soft actually. So see if the boys can't uh, get the big two under up and the high lucks up. Fingers crossed. Okay. Go, go this one. Give the two under your crack. So the situation we're at is I think <laughs> I think I drove up at the exact right time when it wasn't all um, you know sort of dug out and everything like that. So uh, the situation now is Creamer, Creamer's going to have a go. Um, we've got all the confidence in the world in that cruiser. Uh, so he's going to let that uh, let his tyres down a heap more. And I reckon it'll make a huge difference. I reckon it always blows me away to know how much difference it makes, you know, knocking out a couple more pounds. I mean, if you're going from 16 to 12, you're knocking out 25% straight away. Um, so Dave's going to do the same. I'm not sure about Nick. Um, but let's see how we go. What an awesome hill to drive. I remember last time we were here, we drove this hill. I'll try and find that footage. Dave got up it in his bloody Earth Track Colorado. So let's see how he goes. I'm never gonna let him live it down if he doesn't get up in the 200. But I've always wanted to explore a bit further up that track. So I'm really hoping that the boys can get up. <laughs> This is what it's all about. You literally come here to have an explore and then you find an awesome hill like this. This is what makes the fun, man. Woo, <laughs> Dave, hey! Where are you going, down there? Dave just wants to give us a good look at the logo, apparently. Where are you going, mate? Um, are you wanting to go down here or there? Uh, go left hand down. What do you reckon the deal is there, mate? You reckon? 
Oi, I need to remind you, I let everyone know that you got up, you got up this couple of years ago in the Colorado. I know. You think I'm going to let it go? He's back in the Colorado. <laughs> nah, Colorado went well. Yeah. Light and nimble. And the highlights oh, can't get up. Yeah. Ah. Well, exactly. Right. What are you in, man? Are you in low? Yeah, I've tried low three, low two. Low three should do it. It's the same engine as mine. I know. With another turbsy. It's just got like another 600 kilos of weight behind it. Yeah. Well, that's what the second turbo's for. Yeah, yeah. How'd you go with those limestone rocks up there? Nah, fine. Just bounced over them, honestly. Because it's sort of, they're soft and you're pushing them into the sand. No way. Yeah. What's the problem? What do you think it is? Too many buttons. <laughs> Too many buttons. Can't get your spaceship up the top there, mate. I like made it up. <laughs> 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 Well, there you go guys, we did it. Two of us got up, two of us didn't. Dave, that's gonna eat you up, mate, knowing that you got the Colorado up, but not the two undie. <laughs> so now we're just gonna sort of venture down the track a bit more where we haven't been before, so this is gonna be the fun part. Guys, um, I'm probably waking up the boys. We've all actually gone for like a little mid-afternoon nap. It's amazing all the diving and the full driving takes it out of you. So I'm going to try for when the it's only me and Nick up at the moment. The boys are having a little bit of a nap. So I want to cook these little Shanghai chicken wings from Cutting Edge Butchers. These are my favourite freaking wings, and you guys, please don't ever stop making them. They're amazing. Time to throw them on. Surprise it for the boys when they wake up. gotten to that time of the night we've had a heap of like well I'm sort of half full I'm not gonna lie so but I still want to cook dinner for the boys 
got something a little bit different tonight, but it's not worthy enough of like doing a separate cooking segment because it's so bloody easy. Skin on chicken thighs, thanks David Mel, cutting edge butchers. I've added a Jamaican jerk rub onto that. And no, I'm not talking about Dave. This is a Jamaican jerk spice rub. Then added olive oil to all these nice skin on chicken thighs. And then I'm just gonna grill them up nice, get a nice char on them, slice them up, throw them with some fresh, um, fresh tomato, corn, grilled corn, and lime. I'll show you the finished product anyway. Um, but we're just munching on a bit of pork belly that Greba cooked up. We had the wings before. We'll get this cooked up. I'll show you what the finished product is. And we'll go see how bed. we go. Huh? And then go to bed. Yeah, and then it's bedtime. <laughs> Big day tomorrow. Tonight, I think more. Right guys, that chicken's ready to come off. As you can see, nice and grilled. Let that cool down a bit. Let this corn soften a bit more. Once that cools down, we'll get it sliced up and I want the boys to try it. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so we're all done. Um, this was actually quite simple. I just marinated the chicken quite early. Um, so mate, let me make one for you, big fella. It's quite windy now. Picking up, I hope this gazebo stays down the night. We might be in trouble. Let me make you. Let's go. Pete's been unwrapping all the tortillas. He's doing a bloody good job. <laughs> yeah. That's so you can, chicken. That's so you can build. You right with onion? Yeah. So you can build one of the funnel ones, bro. Corn, tomato, okay. bit of the fresh secret sauce. This is my, our secret sauce. Yeah, don't tell people. Boom, on there. And then fresh lime. I reckon this lime. is going to be incredible, dude. I reckon you're going to like this. Go on. While you're eating that, I'm going to make one. How is That's my dude? Good? That lime actually. Zing, eh? Yeah, it does. That's good. So. Very simple, very quick, very tasty. The old tacos, mate, can't go wrong. Mm. Oh, yeah. That rub's good, eh? That, yeah. that second bite there's got a bit of spice to it, too. Yeah, it oh, shit. That <laughs> really does. <laughs> hey, hey, how you <laughs> better end it here. Well, guys, uh, I forgot the lighting stand, so these boys here are holding the lights. Thanks, lads. Now I want you guys to come get into it. <laughs> um, See, what's on for tomorrow there, mate? Nah, get up early, mate. Uh, not so hungover as I was this morning. It'll be a good start. Mm. Drop the boat back in, we'll head out to the second reef, bit further out. Yep. So heaps of craze today in this little reef where we are now. Heaps. But 10 metres offshore. I got one. Yep. But it's a bit small. It's a tiny. So we're turning back. But um, I reckon we get out that further reef in the morning. Yep, the wind's quite strong now. It's meant to be dying down. Hopefully, so if it has, we'll go out there, we'll try our luck first thing in the morning, maybe a quick fish, come back in and go for another journey. Or Sounds bloody good to me. Or... Well guys, try this at home. If you guys want to, uh, if you want to see like a cook up, I'm happy to show you. Piece of piss though. See you guys in the morning. Cheers.